Hi guys, what we have here is the new iFlight Success F4 flight tower system. It comes with this packaging and also includes all the cables that you need for your tight repeat when your uh, micros and minis. Actually, it's also suitable for micros. Uh, let's talk about it uh, a little bit later. And it includes also 220 microfarad 35 volt low ESR capacitor and it is a 3 board 20 by 20 stock system and it is advertised that uh, this is 16.5 grams but with this is around 17.6 I think mainly because of the because of the TPU 3D printed TPU I think it added around 1 gram 1 gram for uh, for this TPU mounts also uh, I think the, the there's a comp 3 three competitors uh, for this type of system uh, I think the HGLRC, HGB GEPRC stable but I think the, the direct competitor is the Emax Mini Magnum F4 because it also is in up to 6S capability and there's a PLLE 32-bit ESC 35 ampere so I think it's the competitor for this it's more I think very affordable compared to these three three competitors that I mentioned I think if you can compare this one with around 60, 63 or 65 in US dollars and uh, Mini Magnum is around 100 and 100 dollars it range from 100 dollars and also the RC and XGLRC let's talk about the, the first board on the top is the VTX VTX has IPX IPEX uh, connector uh, with dipole which is also included and secured with this TPU mounting over here and main features is they are all interconnected with this uh, pin headers from your VTX to FC FC to your ESC so you don't need to solder any cables from each stock not like these uh, other competitors that uh, uh, ready to, that are available in the market. Motor soldering is also protruded and easy to solder around here. Even though you already put all your stuff in your build, you can easily access and solder around here. And uh, USB cable, USB micro USB for the side at the front is your camera uh, connector over here and at the back is your receiver connector S bus you can also solder your DMX satellite over over here 3.3 uh, volt system and your your LED connector is down down here uh, this connector there's a uh, another txrx and also you can access your fifth pwm if you need it your power and let's take it apart and uh, take a look each component one by one Now we disassemble the Success Mini Fly Tower assembly with these uh, four M2 bolts, the lock nuts and the vibration, uh, anti-vibration components. Uh, first up, we can discuss about this uh, VTX included in this flight tower. It comes with uh, this dipole connected to IPX connector over here, and. Uh, with the Success Mini F4 flight controller, we can use these pin headers to connect to these uh, iFlight Success Mini F4. 
or we can use to other uh, flight controllers by these uh, soldering pads over here. You can solder the audio, ground, positive 5 volts, ground, battery, video, and the transmitter for your TX for your uh, smart audio. And it has a, a 48 frequency and we can uh, change the frequency through this button. Uh, you can see the LED lights in channel band and power we can also change the power settings through this button or we can change this uh, channel band power through your uh, Lua script or uh, OST telemetry mm. from your uh, radio controller it has a 5 volts PC maximum to 1 ampere and we can talk about the flight controller which uh, control your quad you can plug in your uh, success mini vtx over here through this uh, female header and uh, camera okay this one is pointing on the front camera connector with audio and your receiver s bus or i bus also over here if you have a, a satellite or, or TSM receiver, you can connect through here and the R1. We have this uh, MPU 6000 uh, connected to the SPI. And the OSD chip, the Chinese 8074, I think 7458, 7456E chip. It's equivalent to MAX. 7456E. It has a 5 volts PEC maximum to 3 ampere, capable to run to 2 to 6S. We also have our TX, TX3 and RX3 on these pads, and uh, the boot button. We also connect the fire bolt over here and we have a UART6 TX6 here and RX6 over here you can connect your random split mini split mini 2 to control uh, its configuration and uh, this flight controller target for beta flight is this omnibus uh, F4SD or OBSD. And we have this uh, success 4 in 1 flight controller mini. You can connect your success FC over here. And it's capable of 35. Ampere, it has a burst of 45 uh, Ampere. Supports T-Shot 1200, this is a BL Heli 32. The power, and you can easily uh, solder your motors on these pads, which is uh, protruded for easily access. There's a connector also here if you want. You can solder the connector or solder it. Solder it here. It's a bit small, but you need you need a smaller uh, wire, maybe 26 AWG. Okay. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you for uh, viewing my uh, review video for this iFlight flight tower system. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and like. Thank you.